Hi, teachers, and welcome to this week's lesson gem. My name is Brother Lammers. I have the lesson that is assigned for Tuesday, April the 9th, or the lesson in your seminary teacher curriculum that is labeled Jacob chapter 5 and chapter 6. And so let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be focusing on how to help our students know that they have been invited to participate in the work of the gathering of Israel. And I, I like this lesson, how it is written. So let's focus on how we can get our students engaged with this or a readiness. And so a couple of teachers have asked, when I click on this little button right here, where are the notes or how do I use the notes? I use a laptop or the web version of the Gospel Library app but I use the notes function. So I sign in with my uh, church username and password. And when I highlight things, I can use the highlighting feature. And then this button right here is the notes tool. And so that's how I prepare my lesson plans for lesson gems, but also for when I am teaching. I use just use the notes tool in the Gospel Library app. So with this in mind, the notes that I have here on the side is the readiness activity for today's lesson or how I want to introduce this lesson and get my students engaged or unify them. So I'm going to start with this question. What is their favorite underdog story or Cinderella story or long shot story or movie? And let them talk about it for a little bit, but you may need to. If you have a class that can get easily derailed on things that are not very important, but so give them a two minute time limit if you, you have a class that can get derailed easily the next two minutes, but then can you bring it right to the scriptures? So we've talked about these underdog stories, whatever movies or stories they like, but in the scriptures, can you think of any underdog stories? And I hope that they can think of a few. I mean, we use the term David and Goliath almost, you know, in a, as a national way to describe the great underdog story. But then Bring it into here, and before they can respond to this question that I will have up on the board, we're going to prepare them to be able to give their yay or nay statements or arguments. So the question is, does Heavenly Father love the underdog or disadvantaged more than the powerful and strong? And so they need to read these verses where the Lord refers to Joseph Smith and the restored gathering as those who participate in it as weak. And so they need to read these verses and then defend themselves, yea or nay, does the Lord prefer one or the other? And so get them right into the scriptures and get them talking about it. And then we transition into why? Why me? Let's talk about it logically, not just what you, what advantage does it give God or does it give to me? If the Lord is his desired outcome for me is to become like him or to live the way that he lives and his work and his glory is to bring to pass my immortality and eternal life. What advantage do I receive in being invited to participate in the work of the Lord or the gathering of Israel? And so I love this question and I really want my students to go through it logically. And then I want to practice this with them. And so I'm going to model this with them. So how can I do it? Where does it, where do I fit in this? And so President Nelson in one of his landmark, adex, landmark addresses called Hope of Israel said this. And so let me show you how I want to practice this or do this with my students. In Jacob chapter 5, verses 61 and 62, I want them to link these two verses to the quote in Hope of Israel that says, anytime you do anything that helps anyone on either side of the veil, you are participating in the gathering of Israel. And so I love this quote. And so here, let's model this with our students. Make sure that they can see your phone and then go through this right here with them. Highlight verses 61 and 62. And after you've highlighted these two verses, you hit the chain link using the Gospel Library app, whether you're doing it on a laptop plugged into a computer or you're using your phone. You hit this chain link button. Now it's waiting for you to go to where you want it to be linked. So with this in mind, go here on the Gospel Library app. If you hit the home button, if you go to youth, if you click on youth, it will bring up the options that are within the youth category. And as soon as the options in the youth category are open, please go to this address right here, Hope of Israel. You click on it. Once you've clicked on Hope of Israel, the talk itself will open. And if you go a little more than three-fourths of the way down the talk, you'll see that this quote comes up. The quote that says, anytime you do anything, and make sure that I don't pass it up, second invitation, there it is. And you click on that paragraph, and then you hit save. 
And now in their scriptures, if they've used their phone or if they're using their gospel library app, if they've done it correctly, if they go to Jacob chapter 5, you need to go back down to verses 61 and 62. This link is now in their scriptures, that quote from President Nelson, anytime they do anything. So we are helping them get into what is, why me? Why logically would God want me to participate in the gathering of Israel? Love this question where it talks about, again, why me? How me? Why would he do this? Finish the rest of this lesson in the curriculum. It is very, very well written. It is very, very well done. And then it gives you an awesome invitation to act. You can prepare them by following the curriculum. And again, adopt it, use it, but then adapt it to your specific situation. And I'm going to use this video because it's from the FSY themes and it brings them into, hey, listen to this video. It just gets them into the right mindset, but take a moment to think of your next steps. How will I go and live this? Wonderful teachers, thank you so much for all that you do. I hope that you have a good time helping your students. And I say, when I say good time, I should say, I hope that you enjoy seeing what your students are already doing and helping them realize that anytime they do anything to help someone make covenants, to keep covenants on this side of the veil or on the other side of the veil, they are participating in this great work. Teachers, you are, again, you are wonderful. Thank you again. We'll talk to you soon.